Uh, hey guys, sorry it's been a hot second since I've posted or streamed. Uh, this weekend I was hanging out with the the boys. We watched Evil Dead 2. We played a lot of NBA 2K23. Uh, we were preparing ourselves for PlayStation's free game this month, uh, Evil Dead the Game. So we watched Evil Dead 2. Uh, and I will be happy to say we'll probably be pay playing that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to record it or stream it as per usual, but... You know, uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. The Last of Us episode, uh, what is this, four? Yeah, this is episode four. Episode four. And we're going to be getting fi five Friday, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so ep episode four uh, was my second least favorite. First episode was better, and third episode has been the best episode so far. This episode was definitely better than episode 2, but it had lots of plot changes. Plot changes I didn't necessarily like. First of all, they got rid of the hit him with the car scene, and for the joke book, they took out the first joke, which is the best joke. Uh, I used to be addicted to soap. I'm clean now. How dare they take out that joke? And the hit him with the truck scene, they didn't take it out, but they ruined it. He didn't actually hit him with the truck. It's unfortunate. Literally some of the best scenes in the entire series. Yeah. Uh, Last of Us Episode 4, though, follows after Bill ta Bill's Town. And they make up some things that they didn't do last episode, like the scene of in the truck when they're getting towards the town. Or they're, they're just leaving Bill's Town. They missed that last episode, and they're doing it. Uh, but... Really, they missed some key points that I think they shouldn't have missed. They they definitely uh, got rid of a lot of important things. Like, they not necessarily got rid of, but they really toned Joel down. Uh, or made him really soft. He's, like, incredibly, incredibly kind. Like, there's one scene... And again, I'm going to spoil here just because I'm not going to say who or what or when, but he has a character, uh, a guy, who has been shot and tells Ellie to move to the next room so she doesn't have to witness Joel, per se, killing. He, ha he pulls out his gun, and he doesn't even use his gun, apparently. In a later scene, they reference back to that point. They find the body, and there is no gunshot wound other than where he was shot the first time. And I think that's dumb, because Joel's mood in The Last of Us games is, yeah, hit him with the truck, kill them all, you know? And this episode one depicted what you would think Joel, a what Joel acts like from the games perfectly. That one guard, he just beat the frick down. Like, screw that one guard. This, he's just like, oh, oh, oh no, that guy's shot. You just better punch him. It's like, oh, I feel bad. It's like, god damn it, Joel. And the thing is, they depict him as a killing machine. In the first episode, He, uh, Robert was like, oh yeah, as long as it's not with Joel, because Joel's, you know, he gets out of hand. He's crazy, Joel. And they don't seem to reference that ever. Joel is only crazy in that first episode. They also reference it later on. They go, oh, yeah, frick. Joel, you know, Joel, that guy, you know, Joel, he, he's kind of, he's kind of crazy. He's kind of insane. You know, he, he does things that are, that are pretty crazy sometimes. He, he's like really hot blooded. They, they reference it in Bill's town, you know, when they're talk when Bill and uh, him are talk uh, Tess and Bill they're talking and then it's like uh, or Joel and Bill are talking he's like I'm hot blooded you know you know I wouldn't trust you like Joel's a really smart guy and in this he falls for a very simple trap and he's not hot blooded anymore everything else that was pretty fun you know they they show him oh yeah he feels bad for the innocence he's had to kill in the story. 
he's felt he feels bad for that. That that's absolutely fair because Joel does feel bad, you know, for the innocents that he's killed. But he doesn't feel bad for the people who shoot at him first. He doesn't even look back. In the game, this isn't a spoiler for the game. This li literally happens at the end. Bro, bro shoots this surgeon in the head for no reason. The surgeon is like, oh, oh, don't, you know. You can shoot the surgeons in the head for no reason. You know? You kill, you kill literally everyone in that game. Okay? And they just depict Joel as this... And this as some stoic guy who's like, oh yeah, killing's kind of bad, you know. But they they tried to humanize the hunters, which I, I'm fine with humanizing them, but they humanized them to a certain extent that I didn't personally like. Uh, this is my second least favorite episode for sh for freaking sure. Uh, my favorite episode still three, but you know, I preferred I prefer a more aggressive Joel to what they have as a a Joe Joel <laughs> Joe uh, a Joel who is like oh yeah uh, I, I don't like killing killing's bad I think it's better to have an aggressive Joel because it shows you know oh yeah I care about these people for sure like these people are the people that I love I won't let you hurt them you know, I'm gonna kill you all. But he doesn't do that. He's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll kill one of you and we'll hide. Like, yeah, he hides in those scenes in the game, but, like, he just... It, it, it's just not very good. It's, it's, it's not good changes there. Uh, though, I'm very excited to see Henry and Sam. Uh, though I feel like they're depicting Henry and Sam as this villainous as these villainous characters, and I don't necessarily like that. I like Henry and Sam in the games. Uh, I've played through the Henry and Sam section. I am getting near the close of the close to the end. I'm reaching the end of fall right now, I think. Uh, and I, you know, it's really it's really interesting seeing Henry and Sam. Uh, like, how they grow in the game, but what I don't like in the, uh, show is so far they're depicting Henry and Sam as villain characters. Like, oh my god, they did this and that, and it got that person killed and that person killed, and we're hunting him down. It's like, what? Why? From my knowledge, from the game, Henry did nothing wrong. Henry and Sam, they're chill people. You know, they just want to get out of, out of this crazy place, you know? With a bunch of hunters hunting them down, you know? And there's no reason why the hunters are hunting them down, and I don't like that, because I really like Henry and Sam. Unfortunate, unfortunate story. Uh, though, again, it's still not my least favorite episode. It's not my favorite. It's definitely freaking not my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna have to say my favorite episode is still three. This one probably I would give a I gave two a seven. This one would be a seven point nine. It's still worse than episode one. Or seven point eight. Seven point eight. Still worse than episode one, but you know, there are changes I didn't like very much, but I did like the episode itself as a standalone show. It was a pretty good episode. Except Again, they've depicted Joel as someone who's smart, eh, you know, who knows plans, who's very cautious, and he fell into a trap that he should not have fallen for. And it was not... that's not written very well. That's not my Joel. That is not my Joel. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we'll probably... the next review will be pretty soon. Sorry for not posting recently. Uh, you know, uh, I don't have a lot of footage to post this week. Uh, I essentially only have Last of Us recorded. Uh, <laughs> though you'll probably see some Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy comes out, uh, pre-order comes out tomorrow. You know, you'll probably see that. And that'll probably be the extent of what you guys get this week. I'm so sorry.
uh, and I probably won't even be streaming Friday. But Saturday, I will probably be stre streaming. So, I'll see you guys then. Uh, thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Uh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, because the show is, I'm assuming, coming towards an end, uh, there will be a full review for the entire show when the show ends. So, like, when all the episodes are done, I'll do final episode review, and then I'll take a quick second, maybe rewatch the show, even if I'm... Though, I might have it fresh in my mind, and I might just do both at the same time. Like, final episode and then full show review. Though, I will probably be doing a full show review that rates all the episodes. I add them all up, all my scores, and then give it a rating out of you know, whatever it would be rated, because each episode is 10, and then you would have all episodes combined together to make a certain number. If there's, per se, uh, 10 episodes, then you'll have 100, a score out of 100, and, you know, yeah. We'll see what happens then. Bye. <laughs>